It's kind of sad when you start recording a video and then realize that it's gone on for damn near 30 minutes and then you're like, uh-uh, that's not going to work for me. Okay, so let's try and keep this short this time. <laughs> so I know I haven't done videos in a while. I haven't uploaded anything. I haven't been streaming. I haven't done anything in some time. Uh, the last time I streamed, nobody showed up. It made me sad. And uh, it felt like a waste of data and a waste of time. I, I have very limited resources. And so whenever I start doing a live stream, if people decide that they're not going to show up, that's that's a chunk of data out of my 30 gigs that I have a month. It's not much. And it doesn't get me by through the month. Like, I mean, if they... <laughs> I wish it was 60 gigs, honestly, or 100 gigs, but it's not because Verizon Wireless is garbage, okay? It's expensive garbage. I'm paying $120 a month, and I only get 30 gigs to use with a desktop by way of tethering. That's the only way that I get to be online. So for me to sit there and waste all that data doing a live stream and not a single soul showing up, just to talk or whatever, it's a waste. It's a pretty big waste. So, uh, yeah. Um, so let's talk about why uh, things aren't going full swing like they're supposed to. Uh, I'm still waiting on Starlink. I don't know what's going on. I don't know when I'll get the email. I don't know what's going on as far as Starlink goes. Uh... It's just a little unknown to me right now. Um, it was supposed to be here by September. Didn't get any kind of call in September. Didn't get any kind of call in August. Or, or not September, but uh, July. Sorry, July. Nothing in July. Nothing in August. It's been September. There's been nothing this month. I'm hearing from the grapevine that it might be next month. And then even then, it doesn't guarantee that I'm, you know, I'm going to hear about mine. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, that's why things haven't gone full steam ahead yet. And I'm still stuck with a limited 30 gigs, which means I can't just do willy-nilly everything I want to do. It's, it's frustrating. It's frustrating, infuriating, and... As, as, as a word of advice to people who have considered moving to rural areas, don't do it. Don't move to a rural area. It's just a incredibly it's just an incredibly bad idea, especially if you expect to have broadband. Wherever you move, you better make damn sure there's broadband, real broadband. And you know what it's funny? Prior to Starlink, and SpaceX announcing and starting and doing this stuff. The president, or I guess he's the president, the president of Viasat <laughs> went on different interviews and whatnot and said it's pie in the sky. It's not something that's going to happen. It's nothing to worry about. Uh, it's, it's, it's never going to come to fruition. It's not going to work. It's not going to work out. It's not something that can be done. Okay, well, now they're scrambling to copy exactly what Viasat is, I mean, not Viasat, exactly what Starlink is doing, what SpaceX is doing, what, what SpaceX is doing with Starlink. They're rushing to try and not just um, copy them, but uh, not just copy them, but my brain's not wanting to work. My brain is not wanting to work. Not just copy them, but uh, not even compete fairly with them. They're they're trying to sue. They're trying to go through the legal system. They're trying to do everything in their power that they can to keep uh, Starlink and Vias or uh, Starlink and uh, SpaceX from moving forward very much. SpaceX is the first one to attempt this. It's working out so far. Other companies are are going holy crap. There goes our cash cow. Uh, it's competition they weren't prepared for. And uh, all of these companies have been filing court order after court order after court order. 
because they see the signs uh they see the signs on the wall they see the wording on the wall i don't know how that phrase goes they see they see they see the they, they see what's happening and uh so now they're they're in panic mode and they're trying to slow down starling slow down spacex and they're trying to stop it if they can because it's they they okay here's my thing i'm infuriated with this because they had their chance viasat had their chance uh, uh HughesNet had their chance they could have de they could have delivered better products but they couldn't think ahead they couldn't come up with new ideas to make a better service somebody comes along ambitiously and goes let's do this let's go through the fcc let's go through the proper filings let's get starlink uh you know let's get this going and guess what uh viasat has been viasat and HughesNet both have been losing customers they're losing customers to starlink some of the people that signed on for beta and whatnot they were formerly using you know viasat and uh and, and HughesNet and and uh HughesNet. uh they were formerly using them and they're seeing their customers drop i've had these services before i've had starlink i mean not starlink god <sighs> Brain is not working too well. I, I haven't had Starlink yet. I'm waiting for Starlink. That's probably not going to be towards t until the end end of the year. <laughs> it's just not. It's going to be God. It's going to be probably December, November or December when I get it. Because we're right now. What are we? We're just going into August, September, October, and then November. So I'll either have it next month or the month after. But I've had Viasat, and I've had HughesNet, and they, I can tell you, are garbage. They cost too much, and they don't deliver. They don't deliver enough. And then they have this, they have, they have the gall to sit there and go, uh, well, number one, they contradict themselves. They go, uh, we can't give you unlimited data because it would cause a strain on our network. It would cause a strain on our satellite. There's all these reasons that they give why they can't give their users more data. Bottom line, they could. They don't want to. They want to nickel and dime the ever-loving out of everyone. That's what their deal is. They want to nickel and dime the hell out of whatever consumer you know customers they have consumer customer come see comes ah anyhow uh and because they'll turn around and they have the gumption to sit there and go oh but if you pay an extra ten dollars twenty dollars however much extra a month we'll give you an extra gig it's an it's it's ten dollars per gig and they'll give you an extra gig which is nothing a gig is nothing nowadays. It's garbage. My war. Here's my thing. They can't nickel and dime people anymore. If somebody comes along with competitor, that's who their competitors are. By the way, that's SpaceX's competitors is Viasat and HughesNet. Those are the competitors, as well as uh, Kuiper from Amazon. Those are their competitors. Okay, and uh, that's why they're in full panic mode. I think a lot of companies are in panic mode, but they don't have to be. But Elon Musk has even went on uh, record and said, uh, no, this is for rural areas. He said it several occasions. He did it again more recently. He said, this is for rural areas. This is not for just anybody. So all the people that are going, I'm tired of Comcast. I want to say goodbye to Comcast. If you have Comcast, then you have more than I have. And this service is not for you. Sorry, that's how it works. Uh, they couldn't serve everybody in a city. They couldn't serve a bunch of people in a city. If you have cable, if you have fiber, no matter how much you hate the company and whatever they put you through, you still have it, which is more than I can say. I don't even have those as an option. I don't have them. So I don't even have Spectrum, which used to be Time Warner Cable. But you do have that as an option. That is there for you. I don't have that. They can't give it to everybody, too. If they were to even attempt to give it to everyone, it would clog up their network exponentially. 
and they wouldn't be able to service everybody. It would downgrade their service. It would, it would reduce the impact of their service for people like me. They can't give it to everybody. It's not for everybody. Uh, but going back to what's going on with uh, Viasat and, Hughes, and HughesNet, both of these companies are freaking the hell out because there goes their cash cow. There goes the money, the penny pinching, the nickel and diming, nickeling and dimeling, blah, 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 the nickel and diming of all the consumers. There it goes. It's out the window. <laughs> and this goes for Verizon too. Verizon should be wor a little worried. Of course, they're not that worried. They they service all sorts of areas, but Verizon Wireless should be worried. A lot of these wireless companies could be wor should be worried because. For example, I'm not going to keep my highest package. The $120 package that I have for my phone that lets me get online like this once in a blue moon, lets me do a little bit every now and then, I'm not going to keep this. I, I'm going to probably downgrade the service that I have on my phone to something minuscule and cheap if, if, there, is, if there is anything. Or I'll switch back to, uh, oh God, what is that company called? Uh, Straight Talk. Or I'll go back to Straight Talk. Uh, I'm not going to keep paying this because I'm going to be paying a hundred dollars just a month just to have uh, Starlink. I've always said before that people are willing to pay out this kind of money. People are willing to pay a hundred dollars a month if they're getting the service that they think it's worth, if they're getting their money's worth. And Viasat and HughesNet was not money's worth. You're you weren't getting much of anything. What I have now is not my money's worth. A hundred dollars? I don't care about the 75 gigs. I think it's 75. The 75 gigs of data that I get for the phone itself. Yeah, they separate it, by the way. You can't total it up and use it however the you want. You can't. You're stuck with using... Uh, you're stuck with whatever they give you, and they separate it. So you only get 32 tether or hotspot. You get, only get 30 for those two things. And you get 75 for the phone itself, which I hardly use the phone itself because I'm in a rural area and I need actual broadband. I'm using this as a supplement for broadband. One day I'm going to drop these guys or either completely or just a, they're going to be getting less money from me. All of these companies do this. They sit there and they say, oh, our, sir, our, our networks can't handle the congestion. We can't handle this. We can't do that. Uh, it's all a bold faced lie. It's because they want to nickel and dime the consumer as much as they can and get as much money out of uh, customers. And most customers don't have it. So what do they do? All they do is sit back and rightfully so complain. They get mad. They do blogs and whatnot. They're not going to pay out that extra money here. But I don't know if Starlink is ever going to adopt any sort of uh, uh, caps, data caps. I don't think they will. It would be nice if they would. If they do, I hope it's something manageable. Like, I'm not trying to give them ideas. I know there's people out there that are going to be like, shut the hell up. Shut your damn mouth. Shut up. Don't give them any ideas. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, but <laughs> if they're going to do caps where they limit you to so much and then turn around and say, you can pay extra to pay for this extra data we've used. I hope it's fair, right? Like, I hope it's like so much a terabyte instead of so much a gigabyte. Okay, well, you've used your two gigs or whatever gigs that they give you initially. You've used all that up, or not gigs, but terabytes. You've used those, ter I hope it's in terabytes, by the way. The gigabyte thing should have been gone a long time ago. You've used up your terabytes. You've used up your two terabytes. You're going into a third terabyte. That's going to cost you an extra $5 a terabyte. I can, I can see that happening. I can, I, can, I can be okay with that. I can be okay with that. I can tolerate it. I can stomach it. Okay. What I can't tolerate, what I can't stomach is what I deal with with Verizon Wireless. What I've dealt with with HughesNet, what I've dealt with with uh, HughesNet and Viasat, I can't I can't deal with that. What I've dealt with Verizon Wireless, what I've dealt with Sprint, what I've dealt with all these companies, uh, all these things that I've dealt with with these companies, I can't cope with that. I can't stomach that. I can't 
push forward with that? Is that the wording I want to use? It just doesn't work. I can't, I can't cope. Especially if you're, you're like me and you're trying to run a YouTube channel. That's what I would like to do. I would like to get back on streaming and doing videos full time. I want to jump on and go, holy crap, I got this idea. I got this, this thing I'm going to do. Let's do this. You know, <laughs> I, I want to be able to do that again. I want to come on here again and just, just pop down videos like I need to for you guys at higher qualities by the way this video is going to be uploaded at a low quality because it has to be low quality small data file so I can get it on there and not use up much of my data this is what I have to do and I know some of you have asked before so why didn't you just go ahead and make your video upload it to your phone and upload to YouTube through the phone I, I've tried for some reason it doesn't work that well it, it stalls out and even cancels and fails so yeah that's that's not really an option i tried it, it didn't want to work out so i have to do it through the phone through the tethering i have to do it from my computer and i have to keep the file size small so i'm i'm hoping that this is enlightening for some people and i'm sorry that i have nasal issues i just ate something i'm a little allergic to uh, i'm allergic to uh garlic and i'm I wouldn't say I'm allergic. I have an intolerance or something. Maybe it is an allergy. I don't know. But every time I eat certain spices, my sinuses and everything just want to close up. So I'm sorry I sound nasally. I've learned this. Like, I can't even have bread anymore because it's the worst of them all, actually. Bread is the worst of them all for getting in my system and making me feel like garbage. But uh, I hope that explains why I'm not back in full full blast. Um if I do do another live stream, I need to know a good time to do a live stream, number one. I would love feedback on this. When can I expect people to show up when I'm doing a live stream? I don't even know what to do in a live stream. Should I play a game? I could play Phasmophobia. I bought that game. I've had that game. I've got it up to date. You know, I could play anything, you know. It doesn't matter. I could do anything. Uh, I'm not doing live I actually don't want to do live streams on this channel anymore. That's the other thing. Uh, I want to make a separate channel for live streams just to be ahead, just to be there when I have to be there. Because you can't really have your channel be... It's really weird how YouTube works. They want you to make multiple channels for multiple things. You, They want that one channel to have a category. Pick whatever your channel is about. Pick it, make it, make another channel for whatever else you do. That's kind of what YouTube wants you to do. That's what it seems to be. I could be completely wrong on that. But anyhow, so hopefully by the end of this year, I will be here. Maybe I'll be here you'd be full blast by October next month. Maybe it'll be by, uh, let's see, October, November. It could be by uh, November. Hopefully not December. <laughs> hopefully not December. But it could be by, uh, by next month or the month after that. I'm hoping. Hope with me. Hope with me. I want to come back. I want to do things again. I want to entertain. <laughs> I hardly do anything because I hardly have the data to do anything. I've got different things that I do. The updates alone for my computer, the updates alone are a nightmare. They use up so much data. It's really ridiculous. Uh, I can't, I can't, uh, yeah, I can't do this anymore. So I need something that I can use and hope. Let's hope from if you are the kind of person who prays, pray. I would appreciate it. If you're just the kind of person that hopes, hopes against hope or hopes for hope and hopes that, you know, just whatever, just send it out, send it to me, send the good vibes, and uh, that I get uh, better service. It'd be very appreciated. Hopefully this changes soon, and hopefully it works for me. Hope that it works for me, because I've got a lot of trees around me. They're kind of tall. I have an opening right here by my, my property. But I might have to like buy a pole or something. A wood pole or something to get it up high enough to get it up to where it's able to face out and everything. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Anyhow. So I'm done. This has uh, been the goof. And I hope that explains what I'm going through. I try to keep this video as short as possible. I'm already coming up on 20 minutes. And uh, yeah. Uh... I appreciate all of you who are still around. I appreciate everything. So, this has been The Goof, and I'm out.